Hey, so um, what are we doing here, sitting on the tailgate out in the driveway? You told me to get my butt out here, and we were going to do a video. <laughs> it's usually the I way have it, no idea. It's usually the way it works. Um, so do you remember about a year ago, almost exactly, you were doing a tech talk in the truck? Truck bed. Truck bed. You were doing what? Power my truck bed. It was yes. something like that. Yeah. It was my second video of my tech talk tow vehicle tech talk series <laughs> right and you promised our guests another video I about did. i did i believe in that video i promised my next video was going to be on the via air air compressor what happened to and that? i even showed you a little snippet of the air compressor <laughs> and i said it's going to be great sort of a teaser if you will and uh we've been teasing our guests for the past year it's been a year <laughs> it's too long so Let's... you want to show them Let's do it today. All right, hang on. It's never too late. Hi guys, welcome back to the guest house. And today we're gonna do another tow vehicle tech talk. Usually this is just Barry, but I thought I'd get myself in here as well. Yay. <laughs> hey, so you're gonna show them about the fire. Yeah, um, but I'm not going to show you how I installed it because obviously I installed it a year ago because you saw it in the picture. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to walk you through what I did and how I did it and what parts I used and how I rigged it together. And maybe even why. Why do we need this? What is it good for? And, you know. So I know I've helpful. mentioned before that I love watching all your videos out there. I get great ideas. Mm -hmm. And one of those was to put an air compressor. So I did it. I did a little bit different than anybody else has because sometimes you just got to think out of the box. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did. Fantastic. Well, let's get to it. All righty. Okay. Be right back. All right. So the Via Air that I bought was the 400P RV. It's an RV version. I'm not quite sure why it's an RV version because they're all pretty much the same. Anyway, one of the things I wanted to do was to put it in a place where it's out of sight, out of mind. I don't want this stuff seen by anybody. I want it to be seamless. So my intent was to put it in here. There's a really big spot in here. And this is actually on the Ford 250s. This is where the second battery would go in. I don't have a second battery. So I thought, I can make it fit. I got to tell you, I spent days trying to make that fit in there any way I could. There was no way. So there's plan B. Plan B is in the truck bed, and I'll show you how I did that. All right, so this is where I ended up mounting it, and let me explain what I did and why I did it. So first of all, this Via Air series is not mountable. It's a portable one and it has a stainless steel little base on it. It's meant to put in the back of your truck, to move around, to plug into your 12 volt outlet and to fill the tires. They do make a version of this um, much more expensive that you can actually mount, much more expensive. I didn't want to spend that kind of money. So this was my plan B. So what I did was, Via Air actually sells another bracket right here. It's a universal bracket, it's an L-shaped bracket. Actually, I believe it's meant for Jeeps to put it inside the Jeep engine compartment. I thought, well, that's a good bracket, that's something to start with. So that's what I did. So I got a bracket, I got the Built Right Industries, I've done a video on this before to show what to, the various things that you can mount to it. And actually right here is where I have the 12 volt power adapter on the previous video. So it took a lot of trial and error, moving stuff around, had to remove the base that came with this because I couldn't mount that. So I had to make it work, and I did. It's, um, it's very solid, it can't go anywhere. Um, as the same thing I did with the 12 volt power adapter, I used these 30 amp quick connects. And if you watch that video, it's the exact same thing for the wiring. I did the quick connects, I ran it through the uh, wire loom all the way up to the front of the truck, which if you watch the other video, you'll see it, very exciting stuff. <laughs> anyway, I made it so I could unplug it because if I ever had to move it or remove it, I could easily do it and still leave the wiring in there. So the next thing I had to do was I had to think about how I was going to get the air from back here to out to the vehicle, to the RV, to whatever. So. Of course, again, good old Amazon came through. I found a five foot hose right here, this nice pretty yellow that stands out. I attached it to here so I no longer 
have to come all the way into the truck to turn this on, to hook it up, to do it. I wanted it as simple as possible. So I actually, I didn't mention, but I have this on one of my outfit upfitter switches in the truck. So I can turn it on from there and turn it off. This switch I leave on all the time so I don't have to worry about it. So when I get to a spot I have to fill it, I turn on the upfitter switch, I come to the back, I plug into the back of that, and I'm off. I don't have to come back here. I don't have to touch anything with it. It's seamless. Okay, so now we're gonna actually test it. I've gone ahead and I've turned on the truck. I've turned up the upfitter switch. It's charged, and this, this thing comes with two 30-foot hoses. Do the math, that's 60 feet. I can probably go out to my cul-de-sac. Oh, as a matter of fact, let's try that. Uh-oh. Holy cow. So you could easily do a 45 foot, wow. At what point do I stop? <laughs> Look at that, I'm actually going to, oh, I'm like five feet from my cul-de-sac. Let's see if it works. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that startled me. <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. I had it pointed right at my face, but it works. You probably can't, I don't know, you might be able to hear the compressor from here. But, I mean, look how far I've gone. This is incredible. Not that I'll ever need it, but you know you can never have enough hose. I'll have to cut that one out because no, that, was... that was funny. That was funny. So the reason I got this Via Air is because, first of all, it's probably the most popular that people buy. It's well known. Everybody speaks highly of it. Great reviews. This one, the reason I like this one too, is because of the two 30-foot hoses. Um, so you got to think worst-case scenario. What if you're out on the interstate? You get a flat tire. You don't want to have to detach to get close enough with your compressor to the farthest away tire that has a flat. With 60 feet, I can do, I could pull over with our Airstream and fill somebody else's Airstream up if they had a flat tire. There's that much cable here, that much hose. The second reason we got it is also to use this to blow out our airlines when we winterize the Airstream. Um, this is great for it. I, I purchased a, a separate, um, uh, it's a air compressor, it's a, a regulator to be able to turn down the amount of pressure because you don't want to have more than, I believe it's 25 PSI going into your lines when you're blowing them out. So that was the second reason I got this also. And it's the cool factor. I've got a compressor in the back of my truck. If you need it, there we go. I got you. Well, so that was fun. Uh, finally it was right? it was and by the way I'm glad that she finally stood up now she's as tall as me it's about time <laughs> the only way I can be taller is if I'm up here and he's down there anyway so thanks so much for being our guest we hope this video was enjoyable and interesting and maybe gave you some ideas yeah. we always try to do if you like this video and I know you did and he knows you did Give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell. When you hit the bell, you get a notification that we put out another video and you get to watch it right away. Okay. <laughs> and as always. Thanks for being our guest. Yeah. See you Take next time. Take care, everyone. When, uh, mm.